everybody, so today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to make a, a lightsaber. And um, this is just kind of a tutorial to pad the time between uh, creating the Destruction series because that's a pretty big series. I wanted to do something kind of cool in between. So here I made a real quick lightsaber in uh, 3ds Max. Kind of cool, baked out. It's going to be an occlusion map and a normal map. And I have a blade that was separately made. It's really simple, just based off a cylinder. And uh, I played, uh, applied a different material to it. And so UDK would recognize the mesh as two separate meshes. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and pull this up. Here's the model. And um, there it is. Since it, uh, since it has two separate materials on it in 3ds Max when I exported it, it has two different uh, elements to it. Um, this is the hilt, uh, and this is the blade. So now, what I'm going to do is, uh, I, I went ahead and made a material. Um, it's empty, and I just plugged it into the second LOD element. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys how to make the lightsaber blade. Not so much the hilt as that's really subjective and uh, quite simple in reality. So let's go ahead and get this up and let's start playing around. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a constant 3 vector by holding 3 and left clicking. I'm going to want to convert that to a parameter. So uh, I think we're just going to uh, actually, we can go ahead and input some values. I'm gonna, um, I'm more of a light side guy. And guy, in fact, I greatly prefer the green lightsaber. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a point one here, and I believe a one in the blue channel. No, not one in the blue channel. Zero. Try this. One. Nope. Point one. Zero. One. That's odd. Zero. One. I'm gonna cancel that. Let's try this again. Point one. Zero. One. Interesting effect because what that gives me is a deep red. I'm gonna go with zero and green of point one. I guess that'll do. Let's see if that'll do the trick. Actually that's almost black. Green point one. Okay. There we go. Okay. We're gonna want to bring in a constant one vector by holding one and left clicking. We're gonna put in a value of seventy five bring in a multiply, we're going to multiply these values. We're going to need a another one of these, so I'm just going to press Control w bring it right down here, I'm going to have a point zero 0.01 and let's get a linear interpolate node by pressing L left clicking, we're going to interpolate between uh, these values and 75 as a constant 3 vector and we're going to use 0.01 as an alpha. I'm going to plug this straight into the emissive channel. We have a nice green glow. Let's go ahead and check that and we come into the game and it looks quite nice. Got a nice bright green glow. Looks pretty uh, Pretty white hot in the center, but it's giving us giving off a nice green. Um, 
great thing about this effect is it's as simple as coming back into here and changing this parameter. So if I want red, I'm going to change this 0 0.10 and press OK. Didn't change. 0. Enter. There we go. Check mark and immediately change in the changes in the viewport. If we want to say blue zero enter. We can just change this to about point one. Enter. Okay. And you hit the check mark and blam we have a blue lightsaber. One's a little bit purple, but um, you guys can mess around with the colors pretty easily. And uh, let's see, let's see what we can come up with. There's a nice teal, and kind of a fan of teal. So, bam! I like that color. Well, here's uh, that's my simple tutorial for the day. I was kind of hoping to get one up. I like getting them up. Uh, once a week. I feel that's a good pace. So um, keep on throwing ideas at me um, on my Facebook page. Uh, you should be able to find it in the description. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.